If you're thinking about buying a home in 2021, I'm gonna give you a couple tips to help make sure this process is as easy as possible. Let's go. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Brandon, I'm a realtor here in Los Angeles County, and if you are interested in learning more about the real estate market, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. There is no doubt in my mind that buying your first house is a stressful process, but why make it harder on yourself by working with an agent that doesn't know what they are doing. Thanks to today's technology, you guys are able to go online and see what people are saying about the realtor you are thinking about hiring. Let me show you guys where you need to go to find this information. So here we are, we are on the Zillow homepage. So we are going to look at properties here and we'll say Las Vegas, but we're actually gonna to go to Agent Finder and find the top agents in that area. Boom, here we are. Okay, so let's look at this guy. 550 total reviews, 433 uh, local reviews. Let's see, he may have a team. Craig Tan, okay, so he's got a pretty good sized team. So you're seeing these guys have the best of Zillow badge, meaning they meet a certain uh, customer experience report. People have connected with this agent and a lot of people have left him positive reviews prior to them actually working with him. So they got in touch with him and had a great experience. He answered their questions and maybe he was able to get them into the house and they left him a good uh, customer experience report. But here you're seeing, hey, this guy, his team has a lot of reviews. They are definitely reputable in this area. And let's see, boom, look at that. The amount of uh, homes sold, 11 active listings and 2,470 reviews. How many of you are doing that? Let me know. Leave me a comment down below and tell me if you guys are actually going online and finding reviews of the agents that you are thinking about hiring. My next piece of advice for you guys would be to work with a direct lender. Now you may not know what I mean. I have talked about it on this channel a few different times in different videos, uh, but here's an example for you guys. You work with say Chase, B of A, uh, Wells Fargo, US Bank, they may have uh, a tough time meeting deadlines, right? So your escrow may have to get extended because they can't close fast enough. Your appraisal may take a little bit longer and your loan uh, final approval may take a little bit longer. Look, do yourself a favor, speak with your agent. I'm sure your agent has a trusted lender that they work with and they have a relationship with and, someone, and it's someone they trust. Speak with that lender uh, that they work with and get approved. I always advise though, get pre-approved with two different banks. That is how you are going to ensure you get the best rate possible and the best terms for you. Now, of course, there are so many beautiful properties on the market, but you know where you could get a good deal is finding a property that does need work. I know buying your first house can be stressful, and then when you buy a house that needs work, it can make it even more stressful, but don't shy away from that challenge, okay, guys? Believe in yourselves that you can get this done, and let me tell you some of the benefits of doing that. You buy a house that's already been renovated inside and out, that house may be 500000 or you find a house that, hey, it may just need some new paint, new carpet, renovate the kitchen, and you're buying this house for 450. Safe to say that this house will be cheaper in the long run, and once you renovate this property, you will have built up a nice little cushion in equity. Once you guys open escrow on your house, you are gonna need to do a home inspection. Now, this home inspector, they are hired by you. It is their job to go through this house with a fine toothed comb and disclose, tell you everything they know about this property. Once you guys open up escrow, you are gonna need to do a home inspection. Now this home inspector, he works for you. It is his job to go through this house with the fine tooth comb and tell you everything he knows about this property. We are buying a home at the end of the day, guys, and every house that you have looked at this far has had some issues wrong with it. Now some houses may have had more issues than the next, some houses may have had only small issues and some houses may have had big, big, big issues. What we want to focus on is the costly items that need to be fixed or addressed or the items that are health and safety issues. One example would be a house where one of the cabinets have a broken door on it. And here we are complaining that we want that door fixed. Now, it doesn't cost a lot of money. You can call a handyman and get that fixed. You go over to the next house and this one, the roof is gonna be needing to be replaced in two years. 
That is what we want to focus on, the big, big expenses and any health or safety issues. Like say there's um, mold in the property. Those are stuff that we definitely want fixed because those are stuff that can, one, affect our health or those are big expenses that we are going to need to assume in the next couple years. Why not work something out with the seller now to help offset some of that cost for you guys? And the last one here, guys, time is of the essence, right? Everything needs to be done in a certain length of time. So move according to schedule, never wait, never drag your feet. It's gonna make it harder on you. It actually takes some of your negotiating power away when you are dragging your feet. It gives the other party in the transaction more power because you are not in line with the contract that you made with that, with that party when buying this house. Keep to schedule, it also takes extra stress off of you guys. So that's it for this video guys. It was short, it was quick, it was to the point but it is my tips that I give all my clients to make sure that their home buying process is as simple and smooth as possible. And I want you guys to have those tips as well so your process is simple and smooth as well. If you guys like this video, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And remember, if you are interested in learning more about the real estate market, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Again guys, my name is Brandon Peters and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.